Those domestic terrorists may be gone from the nation's capital, but the impact of what we saw won't easily be forgotten. The riots left at least four people dead. One woman was shot by police inside the capital. We're told three other people died from medical emergencies. Tonight, Alex Littlehales has the latest on arrest numbers and how law enforcement handled those riots. Alex? Yeah, David, watching it in real time was truly shocking. First, the rioters made it past the barricades, then they made it to the steps of the United States Capitol, and then inside the Capitol itself all along, people wondering why law enforcement wasn't a bigger role in keeping them out. An uprising in the nation's capital. Trump supporters breaking into the U.S. Capitol building Tuesday to disrupt the Electoral College count. A shocking but unsurprising sight for some. All of that autonomy to be able to walk into the, I mean, march into the Capitol, march into on the Senate floor, sit in, sit in the Speaker's chair. I can't even put it into words. One thing in particular stood out to Gaylene Knoyton, president of the Hampton NAACP, as she watched. How were rioters allowed to get that far in the first place? For the most part, you didn't see a lot, a lot of law enforcement. When you see Black Lives Matter or other organizations that have um, any kind of uh, protest or rally or whatever, they are all there. 83 people were arrested in the Capitol riots, 14 by Capitol Police and 69 by D.C.'s Metro Police Department. But let's put those numbers into context. On June 1st, 2020, at the height of the Black Lives Matter protests, 289 people were arrested in a single day. That is four times the number of arrests as when rioters stormed their way into the halls of Congress. Race played everything yesterday. I mean, race played everything. We've been going through this for 401 years. We've been dealing with hate for that long. You know, and we're not immune to it. We're just not surprised. Authorities reclaimed the Capitol and pushed back the siege by nightfall, but served as a reminder that this movement might not end with President Trump's departure. And he is not the problem, he's the symptom. All he did was ignited the hate to another level. Now, police arrested three Virginians in yesterday's rioting. 13 News Now has reached out to MPD to learn more information. From Hanson, I'm Alex Little Hales, 13 News Now.